Aragorn. And today we're gonna overanalyze this because that's just what we seem to do on the channel nowadays. We're gonna overanalyze this. Now I might be completely wrong in what I'm saying here. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee <laughs> while I'm here. <laughs> That probably sounded disgusting. So this was posted uh, in my Discord earlier on today. Yes, I do have a Discord. I don't really promote it much, but thanks to this person, I, I can't pronounce, I'm not going to pronounce the name, but this person posted this in my Discord. So thank you very much for posting it, because otherwise I wouldn't have known about this. Now, before we go into this, I want to say this could very well be me overanalyzing stuff for the next game, getting a bit too excited, and it might be completely wrong in what I'm saying, and it might just only apply to Need for Speed Edge, because that's where this information is coming from. It's not coming from Payback, it's not coming from 2015, games which you know aren't being updated anymore it's coming from edge which is a live service game is obviously constantly being updated um and it's something which you know i could be completely over analyzing this it's not necessarily a rumor because it's happening right now but it definitely could you know have some impact on what future need to be games are going to be like and definitely you know with 20 needs to be 2019 coming out it's quite interesting to look at this i think from a fan specific perspective just to like talk about it you know like i like talking about these kind of things because it gets me excited for the next game um or in this case a bit worried. So what we're going to be talking about today is Lotus. Uh, I really like Lotus uh, as a brand, the cars they make. I really, really, really like them. I think they're extremely underrated. Uh, they definitely have the prestige, you know, that com comes along with the name. They've been part of Need for Speed for as long as I can remember. The first game I ever played in, in the franchise was Hop Shoot 2. And I have very fond memories of using the Elise uh, right really early on in that game. Uh, with the, the green Elise really, really early on in the game. And I have very fond memories of that car uh, because of Need for Speed. But it seems like they're for whatever reason, pulling out of Need for Speed Edge. Now, Need for Speed Edge is obviously the um, the Asian MMO Need for Speed game, which I've discussed on the channel before I've made videos about it, and all those related videos will be down in the description if you want to go ahead and watch some gameplay. But that's not really what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be kind of be talking about the bigger picture, because there really is a bigger picture behind this. Lotus have been in Need for Speed for as long as I can remember, as I just said. Um, and it's really weird to see this specifically, even if it is, you know, from, you know, the kind of Need for Speed Asian MMO counterpart because it's the way things are worded. Let me, let me just go ahead and read this now. As the license agreement between EA and Lotus is about to expire, the in-game Lotus vehicles are adjusted as follows. And then it goes on to say a bunch of things are changing, uh, just like the logos being removed from the login screen, like just a bunch of weird things. I think the main thing to take out of this kind of little paragraph is this, the agreements ending, the licensing agreement. Now, it's not you know, it's it's not one of those things where every single company is Toyota and they just don't want to be in the games. Obviously, licensing agreements can be negotiated and they can be sorted for the long run. It's not one of those things where companies just, you know, snap out of games. I think with Lotus, especially with the history they have with Need for Speed, I'd be so surprised if they did back out of the next game. But then again, I would have said all of that about Toyota having known that their licensing agreement was going to end, you know, relatively soon. So it's one of those things, it's just very interesting to look at from my perspective perspective going into the next game needs to be 2019 because Lotus have always been a pretty integral part of Need for Speed and racing games generally. Forza, uh, Need for Speed obviously, there's so many other games I could talk about where Lotuses are really core to the game. Um, were they in Drive Club? I'm pretty sure they were in Drive Club. The crew has Lotuses and it's like they're in every game. It's really weird just to see, just like Toyota were in every game and now we only have the racing trucks because it's part of a different PR company and it's, it's all really weird to see this. I don't know why companies are doing it. It's like you're shooting yourself in the foot really. So these are the cars in question. Um again it's just really annoying. Especially for the Elise. It's a very iconic car for me in, from the series. Really weird and just it's just odd. It's just really, really odd. I hope that this isn't the case going into the next Need for Speed game where we aren't, you know, gonna be absent with Lotuses. I don't want any more brands to back out. I really don't. There needs to be more brands like BMW, for example. BMW are really, really pro gaming. And there's a few companies out there. I know Lamborghini are really, really up for it as well. There's a few companies that just, they, other companies need to start looking at them and kind of using them as a model because those are kind of the companies which are going to be thriving in this kind of new market. I feel, feel like video games are a really strong promotional tool which these companies just aren't realising. If Lotus aren't in the next Need for Speed game, that's going to be huge. Not only because the aftermarket is so great, you know, if the next game, which should be, you know, largely aftermarket, there's there's no reason why Lotuses can't be a thing. Not to mention all of the manufacturer parts. How many editions of the Elise is there? There's like the, a normal Elise, then you have like the Exige parts, which could go on an Elise, then you have like all the cut parts, and then there's just so many different types of Elise, it's ridiculous. Same for the Evora. There's just, there's so much just shit they could do with it. 
They've got the GT3 parts on top of all the road cars. So let, like, you know, you didn't even have to talk about the aftermarket, you know, when we're talking about customization and Lotuses, you know, just in, in brand, home brand, there's so many different types of home brand rims from different divisions they can bring in. Just like Ferrari, which is makes, again, no sense to me because Ferrari, another company which are really, really anal about this, but they have GT3 cars, you know. For example, the 458, you've got the Liberty Walk kit, which everyone knows and loves. You've got the standard 458, then you've got the Speciale, then you've got the GT3, version uh, there's so many different versions of 458 you have the aperta there's so many different just on from a home brand perspective there's so many things you can do to that car if you just have a base 458 in the game why would you not want to be in a game that's based around customization where you can even if it was only ferrari parts and you could change a normal 458 from a 458 to a speciale to an aperta to a spider there's so many different things you can do with it i don't understand why things like this even if you don't like aftermarket aren't being involved in the next game i would really like to see that i see no reason why they couldn't add a normal release and then you could literally like you can make it a soft top you can make it a hard top you can you know make it a target top you can then put the exige back end on or you can put the gt3 front end on the gt3 wing there's so many things in house that they make for these cars it doesn't make any sense to why they wouldn't want to be involved from a customization standpoint in a need for speed game i'm kind of rambling a bit here i'm kind of like letting my thoughts go loose i haven't got a script or anything for this video i never usually do uh, but these are all things that i'm literally thinking off the top of the dome lotus for a company that have been with Need for Speed for as long as I can remember. It just doesn't make any sense. They, they, they I, I very much thought Lotus were on the same level, say someone like BMW or Porsche, where Porsche seemed to be really up for it as well. Porsche seemed to be really, really up for being in games. Obviously, with Forza um, tomorrow, they're going to be putting the new 911 in Horizon, and obviously has only just been announced. So that's huge news. With you know Need for Speed coming out later this year, we all know that the new M3, the 2020 M3, is going to be coming out. Um, so I could, if that was the cover car for the next game, that is, that would be sick. Just like a G. GT3 Porsche, um, it might be coming out in the next coming few years. Those are the types of things that I want to see brands doing, getting more involved with games. Um, we all know that the M2 uh, had an announcement trailer with Need for Speed 2015. Those are the types of things I want to see. Like I said, with the 2020 M3 coming out, I would love to see that involved. And it's just such a big, it will be such a big moment uh, for the franchise and for gaming, especially losing Toyota and losing Lotus. I just, I would love to see it. I think it would be a really cool change of pace from all this bad news we've had from manufacturers. L Lenny, my car side let my nerdy side get out a bit there uh, obviously I'm a car person as much as I am a gamer um, and those are the types of things that I want to see more from manufacturers it's really annoying seeing Lotus possibly not being in the next Need to be game because of the licensing agreement expiring I hope they can get this sorted behind the scenes I hope that they are they do appear in the next game because I really do like Lotus as a brand I don't want to see them go just like uh, you know uh, Ferrari just like Toyota it just doesn't make any sense it's literally the same as Toyota for me uh, on terms of you know how important it is obviously with Toyota there's a lot more aftermarket it's Japanese so obviously there's going to be a lot more kind of things and associated with that to Need for Speed but for me just the place they have in the series for the people that really enjoy Hot Pursuit for the people that really enjoyed the you know those kind of exotic games to lose such an exotic brand um you know Toyota was a big hit to the tune of people I feel like Lotus is kind of the same level on the other side. And then you've got Ferrari as well, who are just seem to be up their own ass. It's, it's really annoying, really. It's just bad news all around. And I do hope this can get sorted, you know, come November. So that's my little ramble done and over with. I just kind of wanted to talk about this because I haven't really talked about what that kind of stuff means for games uh, and why manufacturers just shouldn't do this. It's so stupid. It makes no sense. I don't want to see Lotus added to the list alongside Toyota and Ferrari with Need for Speed anyway, because that is just, they will be such a big loss. Anyway, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed, if you did, make sure to go ahead and hit the like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys have been awesome. Stay safe and peace.